This latest London attack and the bomb they found on a train, railway, and all the acid attacks and all the stabbings and all the hammered attacks that happen every day in Europe to the point that I can't even remember them all or keep track of them. There's, there's four or five events a day. This is all a giant false flag. Now, by false flag, there's different types of false flags, purely staged, partially staged, but also when you just enable the environment to happen. As I've said many times, if I bred up 100 black widows in my basement, black widow, deadly spiders, they can kill you. And I went and dumped them in my neighbor's bed. Was I commanding the black widows? Were, were they following my orders? Or was I just bringing the black widows in and dumping them in the bed, knowing what they would do? And that's what this is. Yaya Faruka who was arrested Saturday night for reportedly being responsible for planning the bombing that would have killed untold numbers of commuters at rush hour on Friday if the improvised explosive device had properly detonated. And of course, he was a Syrian refugee staying with another Iraqi refugee. And I love how he was 21 years old and the other guy is 18 years old. And they were calling them children a few years ago when they brought them into the UK and paid foster parents, an elderly couple, to house them and take care of them. This is the sick joke. Just like Obama said, anybody that comes across the border is legal because I'm saying they're all children and we're gonna take children in that are refugees. It's all just a stunt. Just like the dreamer stuff, all of it is to pull on our heartstrings. Of course there's some innocent people coming in who happen to be Muslim. Of course, there's some people that are dreamers that are great folks. The point is no other country in the world allows stuff like this but the United States, and now Europe's doing it. Because the UN and Peter Sutherland admit it is about ending the sovereignty of the West and bringing in groups who will then be racially and culturally and religiously hyped up to be told that they've been treated bad by the white minority. That is the admitted plan. Turn on CNN, turn on MSNBC. Untold race baiting 24-7 now with Dallas, Texas, as Trump and I and many others warned a few months ago, we knew it was coming, is set to start pulling down statues of Thomas Jefferson, George Washington, and Benjamin Franklin. Again, they don't call for pulling down statues in African countries of people that had slaves. They don't, no, no, it's only about America and the West and about political bullying. And wherever Democrats get control, they do this, and they've got Republican cohorts that go along with it because the elite wants to distract people with the race-baiting garbage. But let's get back to Islam. It's not a race. It's a political religion. And you have these individuals that are brought in who think of themselves as heroes, and they hate the Brits that brought them in so much and kissed their butts so much that they tried to kill 22 people they were only able to wound. But I want to say this right now. This latest London attack and the bomb they found on a train, railway, and all the acid attacks and all the stabbings and all the hammered attacks that happen every day in Europe to the point that I can't even remember them all or keep track of them. There's, there's four or five events a day. This is all a giant false flag. Now, by false flag, there's different types of false flags, purely staged, partially staged, but also when you just enable the environment to happen. As I've said many times, if I bred up 100 black widows in my basement, black widow, deadly spiders, they can kill you. And I went and dumped them in my neighbor's bed. Was I commanding the black widows? Were they following my orders or was I just bringing the black widows in and dumping them in the bed knowing what they would do? And that's what this is. But this is a staged event where they bring in the Islamicist, they attack, and then we're told we've got to give our rights up to them and then somehow they'll be nice to us. They're trying to induct us into mass Stockholm syndrome. If logic was around, they were bringing in these folks, you'd think, oh, they're just doing it so they stage terror attacks, then the government can take our rights. Then later scapegoat then and kick them out. But that's not the plan, and that's bad enough. No, they're bringing them here, knowing they can induce us into Stockholm syndrome to basically kiss the butt through hospi hospitality of modern radical orthodox Islam 
like they're doing in Sweden, like they're doing in Germany, like they're doing in Canada, like they're doing in many areas of the United States. This is the program, taking kids to mosque, teaching kids about Muhammad, having little girls wear hijabs, having CNN on every show stick women wearing hijabs and MSNBC and have Foot Locker and Gap and I mean, you go to the mall and it's just every storefront shows a woman in a hijab, even though it's a tiny minority, they're getting you ready for it to be a majority. And that's their plan. Everywhere they build mosques, they admit it's an area they've conquered. Just like they wanted to build one on the site of 9-11. And I used to hear this stuff 10 years ago and roll my eyes because it was so unbelievable. But now it's all confirmed to be true. We have all the documents. We have all the white papers. We have all the big imams saying, Europe and America are weak. Go there. Take their women. They're yours now. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, it's good. Groom their girls. And you sit there and you watch this. And you watch Linda Sorcer with her family, hardcore terrorists, admittedly, in prison uh, in the Middle East. And, and all the things she's involved in, they won't take her or her family in Saudi Arabia. They know how dangerous they are. They export them to us. Saudi Arabia won't take one refugee, but they sure finance the overthrow of Syria. And then all the refugees are people that they send in to take over. Then they send them in to take us over. They breed this radical garbage in their madrasas, uh, in their mosque, and then they export it as the weapon system outside of their countries. It's a fact. And the globalists are allied with it, and it's sickeningly conscious. Hollywood is so dirtbag, so scum-filled, so anti-God, so anti-family, so anti-Christ. They get off on this, just like Satanists get off on molesting a child or get off on torturing a child. The more obscene, the more blasphemous, the more evil, the more out of control to take the West with all its virtue and all its openness and all its goodness and teach everyone to hate it and lie about it and then bring in incompatible Stone Age people that literally keep women as slaves and sell them at slave auctions and cut their genitals off and to turn it around and have every major so-called liberal billionaire force feed this garbage cynically at us when none of them take refugees in and when they executed and funded Google and others, the entire Arab Spring, it is the height of criminal activity. You have to break with the globalists. You have to break with the liberals and realize they are conscious criminals. Even low-level liberals now know that they're part of a criminal takeover and get off on it. You've seen the crowds everywhere we go, the hatefulness, their children cussing and screaming. They even fight with each other. They're this frothing trash that don't even work, who just live here and feed off everything and then see the obscenity of Orthodox Islam being brought in and all its horrors and its acid attacks and its enslavement as a sign of the impending ugliness that they wish to spread. It's time to get angry. It's time to get focused. It's time to look at a story on Infowars.com that is unbelievable. That just absolutely makes my blood boil even more. This is what got me so mad. It's one thing to have Google, Facebook, Twitter, and all these groups going and lobbying to be able to operate as monopolies and lobbying to have laws passed that they think they can censor and have immunity from censorship. It's one thing for them to engage in all the selective uh, discrimination against libertarians and conservatives and patriots. But it's a whole nother thing when they start working with Saudi Arabia and Pakistan and Iran. You can look this up. The stories are on Infowars.com. Mainstream news. Links to it. Proudly reporting people for blasphemy, saying, you know, I'm an atheist. If, you know, say you live in a Muslim country or whatever. They come and kill you and Google, Facebook, and Twitter are working with them to do it and working with China to get entry into China and now. They're helping report mainline free uh, social network sites. They are now openly coming in and saying they are going to censor any alternative sites. So it's one thing to say, oh, it's our site, we own it, so you can't be on here. Even though they've always said they're a utility and they operate for the public and they, they discriminate. Still. You could argue that in some weird world. You cannot argue what they're doing now. The story's on Infowars.com. Google tech giants threaten to shut down free speech social site. So it's not enough that they're running oligopolies and monopolies and combines and trust. It's not enough that they're violating the public trust. No, now they want the 
tech site, the social media site based in Austin, Texas. I want to get this guy in tomorrow. He's been on before. They're trying to get it shut down in countries like Australia and the UK and other areas, and they want it shut down here as well because they have free speech and let people say racist things and do racist things. They also let folks counter them and say they're wrong because that's what America is, remember? That's what the West was. You, you may not like somebody's speech, but you stand up for their speech because if they lose their speech, you're going to lose your speech, just like we're now seeing happening. To Jamie White article on Infowars.com, Google tech giants threatened to shut down free speech social site. Google has monopoly on flow of information. Search engine giant Google and other tech platforms have threatened to shut down free speech social media site Gab in the name of fighting hate speech. Gab, a social media platform known as the Free Speech Oasis, was just recently ordered to transfer all their Australian domain elsewhere or face shutdown. Gab's domain register has given five days to transfer the domain or they will seize it. The free and open web is in danger, the website tweeted. Asia Registry is poised to shut down the pro First Amendment website because it claims Gab violates Australian federal and state anti-discrimination laws and see Google and all them have worked to get these laws passed that's that's what they get into which prohibit public vilification on the basis of race religion or ethnic origin so the Nazis are a culture or an origin you can't criticize them no see it's all selective and accuses the website of being discriminatory and hateful Google has already booted gab off the Google Bay store also citing violations in their hate speech policies which has promoted gab to sue the tech giant for violating antitrust laws oh I definitely want to get them on so this is serious Google is the biggest threat to the free flow of information gab chief executive Andrew Torba said in a statement and so it just goes on and on what they're doing they are deplatforming everybody Body. And all these mainline conservatives uh, that, that go along with it and think they're part of the structure, all these people that, you know, sit there and uh, side with this because they think it'll get them boosted with the globalists, kind of like Glenn Beck has done, you're idiots. They'll eat you last, fools. They'll throw you overboard for sure, though, for lowering the drawbridge. Now I'm going to go back to Owen Schroyer and his transmission. And I'll be back live at studio tomorrow. But this is serious, and that's why you've got to hand share Infowars.com articles. You've got to hand share the videos through your own email. We've got to go back to visiting main websites, not just these big giants. We've got to realize that they're shutting things down because we're beginning to win. And absolutely just as important as that, visit InfoWarsStore.com and realize voting with your dollars, voting to support the good guys, shopping with the good guys is changing the world and is absolutely freaking the globalist out and absolutely uh, putting them into fits because they're losing culturally, but this is their counteroffensive, so we've got to beat them financially as well. Big sales are about to end. I've got to end the special on the storable food. It was supposed to end this weekend. One more day. Promo code 50% off on the high-quality storable food uh, with promo code READY. Uh, we are ending uh, again. I had to take off for some family stuff today, uh, so I'm only partially working from home. But there's a bunch of specials that were supposed to end today, but I was supposed to come in Sunday and come up with the new specials. And I, I did come in on Sunday, but I got busy shooting other special reports. So the reason a bunch of specials are still on today uh, is because I haven't come out with the new specials that will, I guess, now launch tomorrow or Wednesday. So a lot of big specials right now. 50% off on Caveman. Never done that before. 40% off on Knock out and just a bunch of other specials right now at InfoWarsStore.com. But whatever you do, get a CNN is fake news t-shirt. InfoWars.com is real news on the back. Um, just take action and know this is one hell of a fight. These are culture dominators that want to run your life, run your children's life. If, they, if they're able to shut us down or curtail us or gag us, they're going to come after you next. That's what this is all about. They don't want you to have a voice because they want to totally dominate and control you. And I know you're not going to give in. I know you're not going to roll over. This is the animating fight. It's a fight for our lives, ladies and gentlemen. Now back to Owen Schroyer and the InfoWars.com news studios. Thank you, Alex. And Alex, again, will be back tomorrow to host the Alex Jones Show. Let's cut through a bunch of news right now before this break. Border security is tougher than ever. DHS report finds sneaking across the U.S. border from Mexico is tougher than ever before, and U.S. agents are catching or stopping the majority of those who attempt to do so. So again, this is why I've never been a big proponent of the wall, not saying a wall doesn't help, but we can do this just by boots on the ground and by more than anything, actually following the law. That's what we need to do first. Follow the law and arrest people who illegally cross the border. Don't just let them come in with free 
handouts. That's what we've been doing. We get a president in there that follows the law, allows ICE and DHS to do their job, and then what do you know, the Washington Compost has to report border security tougher than ever, according to DHS. Of course, again, the wall doesn't hurt. Hungary builds a wall, cuts illegal immigration by 99%. That's right. That's why liberals build walls outside their huge mansions. That's why Obama has a wall to keep the riffraff out. State Department considers closing embassy in Cuba after diplomats suffer mystery illness. So Tillerson is considering to close an embassy in Havana where a bunch of dip diplomats mysteriously uh, got sick, at least 21 Americans. Here's some uh, ongoing news about the world war that's building. U.S. B-1B supersonic bombers conduct joint drill with South Korea as a warning to Pyongyang. So Russia's doing drills, USA's doing drills, North Korea's doing drills, everyone's doing drills. North Korea's nuclear test could spark a volcanic eruption. You know, that's another thing. As I'm about to cover another climate change story, all of these liberals that want to complain about climate change all day long, do they ever bring up nuclear bomb testing? There have been like thousands of nuclear bombs detonated across the entire planet over the last 30 years. Complete radio silence. They don't complain once about Kim Jong-un testing a, a hydrogen bomb. They don't complain once about Kim Jong-un completely testing nuclear bombs all the time. America does it too. Everyone does it. They all test nuclear bombs. Nobody complains. Nobody complains about the nuclear bomb testing. Nobody complains about the geoengineering. It's how dare you drive a car? How dare you have electricity? How dare you be such a glutton and want to have air conditioning? No, that's to bring you down. That's to handicap you, to keep you from having a destiny, to keep you from having a future, to keep you from being free, to oppress you. So all the liberals out there that say climate change, climate change, we need to do something about climate change. Go stop Kim Jong-un from testing a nuclear bomb every week and then come talk to me. And so then Ryan Maui writes this story for Wall Street Journal basically saying, hey, all of you freaking out about hurricanes and climate change, maybe you should get your facts right. And he's basically saying all the hype doesn't help. You're just building a straw man, essentially, without actually pointing to any data, any evidence. Well, that's because the data and the evidence points to not global warming. That's why they had to change it from global warming to climate change. Meanwhile, Hurricane Irma, latest updates indicates possible similar path as Irma. This is Hurricane Maria. Hurricane Marina, uh, Maria, excuse me. But are we kind of like hurricaned out? Is anyone really going to cover this like we have been? Are we like hurricaned out now? Second man arrested over London bombing is a Syrian refugee. So the tube bomb, the flame bomb that burned and scolded and, and killed people. Second man arrested is a Syrian refugee. But we should continue to let Syrian refugees come here because they are loving. The Equifax hack. Hackers have the credit information of 143 million Americans. I see stories like this every day. Everyone's getting hacked, all this information. It's crazy. U.S. sanctions backfire. China opens 10 billion credit line for Iran. Thanks, Democrats. You started a trade war, and now it's going to bite us in the ass. We'll be right back with more of The Alex Jones Show and your calls. In ancient times, man roamed the earth in a constant state of hunting or being hunted. Introducing Caveman, where cutting edge science meets ancient super nutrients. Secure your bottle right now at InfoWarsStore.com. 